Oh, these are just for the enemies. Um, and then you go int, um, and then you go en movement update, alright? You got that. And then we got int en I've been hit timer. Now this stops the enemies from moving for a second. Uh, I've been hit timer. Yeah, yeah, for now on, this is all we need actually. So just do that. We've just finished the um, um, spawn enemies function, okay? So now we spawned them, alright? Kind of, we kind of have to um, start worrying about moving them and stuff, so I think we're just going to try and run this and spawning them, make sure they're spawning okay and stuff. Um, and then we'll get on with the uh, enemy gravity and then enemies and animations and so on. Just gonna see how that goes. So we're gonna find out if they are spawning like they should. I don't know. I'll probably have an error or whatever. Oh. Okay, guys. I uh, just noticed how much of a retard I am. I did a massive error here. So instead of putting alien, I put alien t. So the object wasn't existing and it was giving me an error. So get rid of all those t's there, please. If you did put them as well, uh, I doubt you did, but. Basically, that is it, and then the enemy should be created properly. So just change that on your, otherwise the object won't exist and it'll give you an error. So let's just try that again. See how that goes. Do, 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 do. Hopefully it will exist and it'll give us an error. Alright, good stuff. So the object does exist, so the enemy should hope. There you go, here we go. There's our first enemy. Oh, what the hell. Okay guys, so I just figured out what the problem was with the... Uh, with this crashing, so apparently, right, somehow I think Bax and I put it to release mode, and I think that screwed up the whole thing. So, yeah, if you did put it in release mode at any time, just change it back to debug, please. Um, hopefully, this will work now. I'm just gonna have a look at it. So, if we should have everything like I have here, it should be okay. Um, I'd comment everything out and spent the last 20 minutes or so trying to find out what's wrong with it. Ridiculous, honestly. Uh, but um, that's the way this works, nothing you can do about that. Um, just gonna have a look, uh, see uh, if this works at all. Alright, DB Way key, I forgot to delete something, but basically, alright. So, sorry, I've put DB Way key so that I'm getting some low frames here for the lose, but. Um, in it, but just delete that. Anyways, um, so here we've got our enemies. They've been spawned. They spawn every five uh, seconds, whatever. So the next thing we're gonna do, yeah. So we're gonna do update enemy gravity here now, uh, and that will be that will be a function. Um, now this is gonna, all gonna be very similar to what we did previously on the for the main player. And what we do is we gotta move it down. Um, sorry, just closing my door. Just, all we gotta do is move it down. So I'm just gonna do a new function here, spawn enemies. So here we go, so we're gonna do update enemy gravity and open and close that. And then um Yep, and then just go up here and just do um and that is fine to load as well. Just commented that up. So then you go void. Yeah, I'm just gonna move this up by the way, because the enemy hit cubes they shouldn't really be because you're loading them, you want them to be right at the top with all the other stuff. In my opinion, at least, doesn't really matter where you put them, as long as it's above the dark GDK thing. So there we go. So we go void update enemy the enemy gravity. Now try and see if I can find a slightly lazier way of doing this without typing the whole code out. But I don't think there's any way of getting away without doing that. So yeah. So it's, it's just what I explained before on for control characters, just the same as that. So I'm just gonna do what I did for that, and yeah. So for int i equals zero, i small the max enemy number, number, then i plus plus. Okay, so and then you go if v y e n, which is something we're gonna call in a second. This does exactly the same as the survivor has, except this is for the enemy um, equals equals zero. Then you go press enter, and then you go else. Do that. So what we do here, uh, 
this exactly what we did before for control character we do for this actually I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy exactly what we did for control character and um, undo that because there's absolutely no point in me repeating this so I'm just going to and same for you obviously okay so just going to get rid of this here um, with control character so try and see if we can save some time and stuff but basically so what we do here we go all the way till that bit okay so we get that and we move it down here uh, to update enemy gravity okay so got that there just gonna put it all here see how that goes so so all these are gonna be is um instead of the previous one <coughs> they're mostly just arrays so you do that and you go max enemy number enemy number and I recommend you copy this so we can get a lot of them out of the way pretty quickly so just copy that and just go old x uh, and then you go uh, float old x yeah so I've done all that and then you go um, so for this first bit I'm just going to finish this quickly so for vn en i so and then you go uh, vn i equals equals zero so you go view i en so just finishing this first bit and then we'll move on to just doing some copy and paste jobby out of it um, okay so else v y e n and then you go i plus gravity now this is the speed at which they fall down divided by ten okay so here we are it's got that going now obviously there's going to be this uh, we're going to have to do quite a few for loops here uh, to sort things out so for this one for example we're going to have a for loop right um, it's not necessary here because we've already done that so for in i old x i so that's what these are all doing okay so old i equals db object position character uh, except for this one will be enemy holder i zero so we do that instead okay so store their old positions okay so if, just do a little check here basically to make sure object exists we don't have checking for objects that don't exist alright then we do all that okay so that's that DB object exists uh, and then you do that and then uh, and then back to the max enemy number business float and y and once again we're going to need another for loop so yeah let's just uh, store the place the player's final position so let's skip this bit because it's not necessary apparently obviously we don't need the keys here because this is the enemy movement it's just the, um, the gravity and then we just delete all that right so this is all you're left with and then you got the VX right that should not be necessary because we're not moving them here as well so float yeah there you go just do that let's just delete that not necessary at the moment so you do that and then we just do a four a small for loop for int and then um, in that loop we have let's have a look so in that loop we have x i equals old x i plus so this is exactly the same as the previous except with um, arrays exactly the same as we've done before old y uh, so yeah we've got that that's for loop declaring those and then we're going to do um, 
So we need intercollide just like before, except this time we need the max enemy number of crap going. Very similar to the first one, like I said, uh, just with arrays. So, um, so then you go um, collide i equals and then we just copy that bit like we did before okay except we change it to the arrays so we have now we have i there so just copy that bit and just copy all of them and paste them and that should be as much as you need to do vy and then we put vy en right because it's got en old z and radius and zero okay so that should be correct and then you say if collide oh we've got this here already so Let's just do that. Uh, let's put all that in there, okay? Um, up to there, I think should be enough. Yeah. Okay. So basically, if collide, I. So just just copy this bit and just, just keep pasting it because um, now N Y I don't think needs to be. No, it's NY doesn't need to be um, arrayed. So to here, I X. So just do that and that and that there. Just keep pasting those bad boys in. Okay. This might seem a bit boring, but that's life for you. You might want to make a first-person shooter game. Sometimes you got to do this boring crap. Um, so. So got that there. That's done. Um, old y equals that. X equals that. Yeah. Just to make things a little bit simpler, just do that. No reason why. Should have done it in the top bit, I know, but yeah, whatever. So let's go check that out. So if you write e n, and then do that. Um, and then n y ground e n. So ground. Uh, yeah. Damn it. We're gonna need a ground e n as well. Didn't remember that. Because um, because we need to be aware of um, however many enemies we have, we need to be aware of their um, where they're touching on the, if they're touching the ground or not. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, then we've got that ground en ground there yeah and yep if ground en because he was one and jump times yeah that should be fine. Just got to put a few eyes in there and there's that and then there's ground en which is fine. Um, and then the next bit, we don't actually need this crap. If ground the end, um, we just delete that. Okay. So um, we need another for loop. Or is that okay in the first one? So um, yeah, I think we're good for this. Race can get confusing sometimes. Collide equals, and then we go do the exact same stuff again. Um, and that's about it. And then we do if collide high equals zero x. Uh, just do all that um, like that. V x e n is what it is. E n because obviously it's a global. <coughs> we want to be aware. So v y like here for example v y e n old y. So yeah, I'm gonna have quite a few errors for this, but um, can't really be aware of everything at the same time. Um, so then you've got if collide and then here you go 